Hey, Todd Barrier from ToddBarrier.com. Today we're going to talk about five practical obstacles and how to work through them. Now, everybody has obstacles, right? You have tons of different obstacles. And there are three primary areas of obstacles. There are emotional obstacles, which there are many of. And then there are practical obstacles, which are pretty plain to see. And then there are life happens types of obstacles. We're just talking about the practical ones here today. Um, and, in, and, and by the way, this is a, just a little nugget from my MLM Ignite online training where I go really deep into all of the obstacles. Um, but that's a powerful training if, uh, if you want to check that out over at ToddBurrier.com. So anyway, um, <clears throat> everything I share with you, I've experienced, right? And so these five obstacles... They were all over me when I first started, right? Including I had a ton of the emotional ones, but so I wanna help you understand how to navigate these five because they're, you're naturally going to have most of them. You're gonna have most of them. So the, so the first obstacle is money, right? Money is an obstacle for most people. It's part of the, it's one of the primary reasons people get into network marketing is a way to either make more money or make money in a different way. But making more is a primary, maybe the number one reason people get into the industry is finding a way to make more money to supplement their life, right? Because most people in general are right at the end, right? They are right at the end of their resources month after month. And that's a scary place to be. So, you know, I started with nothing, right? So I, 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 some of you can clearly relate with, to that. So what do you do here? Well, I think it's important to understand what to spend money on and what not to spend money on, right? So I'm not a big fan of the big buy, right? I'm not a big fan of, you know, getting in way over your head by buying thousands of dollars worth of products, etc. I mean, if that's what you have to do in your structure and you're happy about that, that's okay. I'm just saying that, you know, that's, that's going to create stress, right? So if you can, great. If you need to, great. But if not, then you want to use the products that matter and learn. You should be buying all your company's products over time to experience them and using all the services and you should be growing that, right? So maybe you can only start with a few things, but over time you should be using more and more. That's normal, um, buying from yourself and, and teaching that. But I want you to get clarity on what to spend money on. So things that you don't scrimp on. In other words, investments that make sense are investments in yourself, right? That's where you, you really go to the, to the edge, right? Because, for example, buying a training system, you know, maybe that training system costs $500. And you're like, man, that's a lot of money. It's not a lot of money if you get one nugget from that training system that helps you build your business, right? Then, then it's just a smart investment. And all those things are write-offs anyway because they're investments in your, in your business. They're expenses. But training is not an area to skimp on. You need training, right? This is a new thing, even if you're new. Heck, if you've been in this business two, three, four years, it's still relatively new unless you're full-time and have been, right? Because when you think about the amount of time, let's say you've been in the business four years and you're working 10 hours a week. Well, that equals one year. <laughs> Over four years, it equals one year of experience. That's just the truth. You might be around it, but you're not in it and doing it, right? So investing in training, you know, tra digital trainings and books, that is a very good thing to invest in because that has lifetime value for you. It grows you and improves your skills and makes you better, which makes you more effective, which makes you more money. Next is personal development. Never scrimp on that. And, and actually, you have the opportunity in today's world to, to get access to so much personal development material relatively inexpensively. Years ago, it cost a lot for personal development. It does not now. Um, I mean, and you should still you know, invest in some of the top personal development stuff, but heck, you can go to a library and get a book for free, right? You only have it for a couple of weeks, but you still have it, right? You can go online and heck, I deliver a, a lot of free personal development material, but you should invest time and resources in personal development because that's growing you, your greatest resource. It's growing you and it has lifetime value. And then events, you should invest in going to events, whether they're industry events, um, or online events, um, but definitely live events as much as you can. You know, you know, to, if, if you if your company has a big event, go to that event. That that the inspiration, the stories, what you will learn, the way you will feel is huge for you. And so those investments make a lot of sense. So that's that's a way to kind of look at 
how to structure your resources. Um, just you remember, you're building a business, okay? So it's, it's the most inexpensive business there is for the most part, but it's not free, right? You're still going to have to put something in and you should, right? So I mean, heck, what does it cost to go to college in the United States? I paid for a couple of college educations for my kids. It cost over 300,000 bucks for that, right? Actually, well over 300,000 for those two educations combined. And what was the value of that? They could get a job. Okay, that's good, right? They learned some life skills. But man, you know, I invest in a, a training system that costs you a few hundred dollars and what you can learn from that can change your life, right? So think about that, right? So next is time. Time is, a, time is an issue, right? Um, but less so now than ever because of the ability to work through social media and online and all the different ways you can work. So it's really about planning and prioritizing. So learn to be a planner and learn to prioritize your time and, and you will get your time back in this business. Um, but at first it won't feel that way. It's about you putting it into what you're doing. So planning and prioritizing are your key. And then learning to use social media and some other tools, online tools will will multiply your time. So that's the second area. The third is commitments. Uh, this is a big issue for people because most people, since they don't plan and prioritize, they say yes to too many things and now they are overcommitted. And so you've got commitments in all kinds of areas of your life. And if you want to build this business, something's going to have to go. That's just the way it's going to be. I mean, that's the truth. I mean, I've reprioritized commitments many times. Several years ago, I was part of several different boards and I was involved in all these kinds of different things. I'm like, wait a minute. If it's not serving my mission, it's not serving what's best for my family, because I, I was in a time crunch, then I stepped back, reassessed, and just pulled out the commitments that didn't make any sense, right? And that's what you should do. Readjust your priorities, assess what commitments you're, you're in that might be comfortable, maybe you're doing them for a while, but they, maybe they don't make sense for you anymore. Um, and so it's important to do that, and it's simple to do, right? You just have to say, okay, essentially you're reprioritizing this this business can make a major difference in your life and your family's life. So it should be a priority, right? And it's probably more important than some things you're already committed to. So consider that. Next is people. You know, there's people that are going to be obstacles that you love and you don't, you know, you're not going to remove them. They're people you love, but they can be obstacles, right? Because they are used to you being available in a certain way. And when you go to build this business, you can't be as available for certain things. And so a really important thing is to communicate to them what's in it for them, right? So share what you're doing and why and what's in it for them, right? And then that will kind of shift their thinking, make, make it that there's some reward for them, right? Let your family know there's a reward for them from you building this business because they don't know. They don't know what you know. They're not feeling what you feel. They're not experiencing what you experience. So they don't have any idea, right? They just see that you're doing something and that, that they don't understand, right? So that's really important. And obviously, if there are negative people in your life, <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, you know, or if someone that you love is negative, you just need to have a conversation just and be real and say, you know, I know you love me. And so please, for me, don't be negative to me about what I'm doing. I, you know, if, if you're not in support, that's that's your choice. But don't tear me down because this is important to me. Right? And, and any real good relationship, that's going to work. OK, that's just a fact. If that doesn't work, there's deeper issues and I'm not going there, okay? And then number five is your learning curve. I mean, that's a huge obstacle for people, right? Because we forget that we got to deal with a learning curve. And so you're going to be impatient. You're going to have points of frustration, right? I mean, it's normal. So just remember, have faith. Everything you currently know how to do, you didn't at one point. You learned, you figured it out and you are... You know, you're a unique human being who has all kinds of skills and abilities and you have the capacity to learn pretty much anything. This work is simple, right? This is not rocket science. Um, yeah, people are complex, but the actual work is not. And so have some faith in yourself, right? Have some faith in yourself and know that through practice and through the work, you will get better. And the beautiful thing is you can build a business without even getting that much better because the numbers will work out if you're doing it. So have a little faith. 
practice your your act your your work every day right and have some patience and everything is going to work out for you in the long run so there's the five practical obstacles i hope that was beneficial for you if you want to check out the mlm mlm ignite uh, training head over to toddburrier.com and check out products and then you can see what that so you can click click the link in there and you'll go learn all about the, the training's got unbelievable stuff in it and like i said this is just one nugget out of one one of the 14 or 15 modules that are in there. Um, so anyway, I hope this is beneficial for you. Also, while you're over there at, at toddbury.com, if you have not got the 27 scripts that will really help you consistently sponsor, make sure you put in your email and get that free audio download. Uh, and if you need a little coaching, feel free to go to the work with me section and send me a message and I'll get back to you and we'll see if, you know, if I'm the guy to help you. All right. Hope this is helpful for you. Have a great day.